is my will public record? If I create a will, will everybody know what's going on in my life? Uh, my name is Philip Bruce. I'm a Minnesota estate planning attorney. And the answer to that question is it, it depends on a couple things. In Minnesota, if you create a will, you have the ability to file that with the court for safekeeping. That's becoming less and less common because uh, privacy laws are making it more and more challenging to get a hold of that will after death. So almost universally at this point, folks create a will and they just keep it in their house and they make sure their family knows where it is. Um, Three places to keep a will. Number one, a fire safe is my favorite as long as folks know the combination, but if they don't, we can hire someone to get in there. Uh, if you have that drawer where you keep your important things like insurance, etc., that's my next favorite. My least favorite is safe deposit boxes only because it is so rare that we put another person's name as the backup signer on those. Without that, we can't get in there without probate. So, you know, make sure you have a backup on your safe deposit box. Anyway, when you create a will, it's private. It just stays in your house. You, only your family knows about it. No one knows about that. But the other half of that is at death, then we go to probate. Wills control the probate process. Wills tell a judge uh, who's in charge, who gets the stuff, where, which bills do we pay in which order. All that uh, can be controlled on some level with your will document. Your will is a court document. So after death, wills go through probate. Probate is a public process. So at that point, if there's anything controversial in your will, uh, under certain circumstances, it's very possible for that to become a uh, public record. So not during life, but after death, wills can become part of uh, what's out there. There's ways to avoid probate altogether. If you avoid probate, then you by necessity don't need to submit a will. Uh, there's, there's ways to do that, such as revocable trusts. We've talked about that a lot. And also beneficiary designations on your accounts. Depends what you have. If you have real estate, there's a couple tools available uh, if you want to skip the probate process and keep things private. Questions about this or anything else, shoot us an email. My name is Philip Bruce at Stone Arch Law Office.